Welcome back, awesome Astro fans and subscribers. Very excited to have here the uh, World War II United States Army set by Joy Toy. They released uh, one, two, three, four German sets and one separate SS officer, which is exactly the same as the others, just painted black. Um, <laughs> as an individual figure, I should say, in that one. I'm really nice, or really happy, I should say, excited to get some allies and opposing forces to the Germans. So let's open up and have a look. Now I've taken the tape off the back here already, but let's open this up for the first time together and have a look. A look see inside now any of you guys who are very uh conversant in the uh uniforms and so forth of world war ii can comment and tell me what's good what's bad what's so so what's accurate inaccurate blah blah blah, blah etc so here are our figures give you a better look first they look really really nice all the torsos Torsos. Torsos are the same. The garments underneath appear to all be the same. The legs are the same. The boots are the same. The, everything's the same apart from the heads because they're all different sculpts. And obviously, it's slightly different color because you have a buffalo soldier, you have a, a black GI, a black trooper there who looks particularly good, I have to say, in a sculpt. Really good job by, by Joy Tilt on that one. That is a really great looking face on that. And then we have here the weapons. So we have one, two, three, five rifles, a bazooka, uh, and looks like a couple of machine guns, a heavy machine gun. And then we have the spare joints and helmets. And I think maybe some sidearms in there as well. Okay, let's open the weapons first and have a quick peek at what we get here. So. Nice looking gun, and as I said, we get five of those three, four. Oh, I'm telling you a lie, four of those, and then one is slightly different, it's got the scope on it. We get the uh machine guns, so these two, and we get this heavier machine gun here. And we get this nice looking uh, bazooka here. I wonder if they can have a round in this a shell like he got in the, one of the German sets. Let's have a look. And then we have here the bag. Let's have a look in the bag here. And we have... Okay, there is a shell for the uh, bazooka. Is it a shell or a round? Or I don't know what to call it. Which sort of barely sticks out the end and pops out. But it's good that we have one. We have one sidearm only. We have five helmets. One, two, three, two pairs of hands. And then we have, it looks like a shoulder joint, an elbow joint, and some, and four wrist joints, and one wrist joint for the black guy, because it's a different colour. Okay, so I'm glad I have the spare joints, but there's no knee joints, so they're very confident about the knees not breaking. Let's put all this stuff back in, I'll keep the other stuff the uh, weapons and helmets out for the time being. Okay, let's close that. In fact, I'll put the shell back in there too from the uh, bazooka. Don't want to lose that just yet. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. And the paperwork. We'll just show the figures, they're laid out, and give the standard precautions we get from Joy Toy, and then we have a pose on the other side, it looks pretty cool. Okay, let's get to the main menu, let's get to the figures. Boop, 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 boop. Wow, really strong plastic smell. Okay, so, the figures, apart from the head sculpts, 
on first glance are identical. I will check the back and see. All identical from what I can tell. So I'm going to show you the head sculpts of all of them. Oops. And then we'll go through articulation. It's nice we've got a variety of hair colours and styles. And this guy's even got a shaved sides and back as well. That's pretty cool. And then the black guy's got particularly good head sculpt, I do have to say. I'm trying to think what he looks like. It looks a bit like Terry Crews almost to a degree, but maybe that's because of the no hair on the head. It could be Samuel L. Jackson that doesn't like Samuel L. Okay, so let's take a figure and let's look at articulation. Uh, the webbing, the backpack stuff can be taken off. The rest of it is molded on. I think does the jacket come off? No, jacket is also part of the uh, sculpt. So, head left and right, up and down, side to side, very good. Shoulders, let's have a look. Not the best, but over the flat, so over 180. Bicep bend, this will be telling, because often need a good bicep bend to get good uh, articulation of holding guns. Look at that. Much improved by Joy Toy there. Very good. The hands. I just broke one hand off. Uh, so the hands, there is a up and down movement. I have to drill that one out and later and replace it. On the left and the right hand was this way. So what they've done, they've got opposite articulation, the normal gun articulation. Uh, they have trunk, they can turn from the trunk, they can go side to side, forwards, backwards, they have waist, they can twist from two, forwards, backwards, side to side as well. Legs won't go far because the sculpt on the pockets on the uh, trousers there. There's a thigh twist, which is good. Uh, I should say that the arms can twist as well. Double kneecap, not a thick sculpt. Look at that. Some of the best you'll see. Fantastic. On the uh, knees there. And then the feet, I'm a bit more concerned about because the sculpt... There's like a terrible Michael Jackson. Like tippy, dorsal flexation is not great. Tippy toe, again because of the sculpt, is not great. Foot can, can turn, which is good. And it can twist, which is good too. All in all, not bad. Now I am tempted to pause this and replace that wrist now so I can do a better comparison. So I'm going to pause this, replace these... Uh, his hands, sorry, and come back in a second. Actually, quite a few people have asked me, how do you take it out if it's broken off and stuck in there? Well, all I'm going to do is get my little my little hobby drill, my hand drill, or sometimes called a pin vice, I believe. Thank you, Jeff, for telling me that. Um, <laughs> and I will drill in, try and grip and pull out. If that doesn't work, then I will put it in the hot water. Once the hole's in there, then grip and pull out because the water, hot water, like nearly boiling, will expand the plastic and soften it. The other thing you can do is just drill it again and again and again so there's no plastic left inside, but that's probably a last resort. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to the drills in there. I will show you me attempting to pull it out and see if it works. So back in a second. So I've drilled a hole, but the drill is not gripping for me to pull out. And you can see, if, let me see the hole in the camera. You can just, I see the hole. It's smaller than his wrist joint. What? Because it's not coming out, I'm going to use a bigger drill bit, which is still slightly smaller than the peg that goes in, and drill it out that way, and then drag it out. If it or it'll drop out by itself, hopefully, then I'll just put another ri uh, wrist joint in, and he's have a replacement hand. That is the idea, or maybe it'll go all horribly wrong on camera, and I'll be the laughing stock of the toy community. Let's see. Don't go too deep on there. We go on this. And parts of that are coming out now. Some more. Oh, 
Okay, that looks like it's out. Let's see if I can replace him with his uh, right hand. So get a gun hand, hopefully. Uh, that's, uh, that's the right hand there. What? Okay, so it's a new system. I just realized that. Uh, the hand is separate to the joint, so unfortunately they do give uh, the joints here as well. So what I told you earlier is correct with the joints and the hands, but the joints can be detached from the hands, or the hands detached from the joints, whichever way you want to say it. Let's see if that will go and stay in. Or maybe I have to draw a little bit more. So but what that means is with the joints, the articulation is not like this or like this. You can turn the hand so the joint can be articulated any way. Okay. Uh. So you can see it goes in, but it doesn't go in as much as this one. So I need to drill it slightly more still. because There's still some residue of the other one still stuck in there. Now what I've got here, you can go to these little cheap shops, cheap shots, cheap shops, pick up these little uh, nail care sets. And they come with all these useful little things which are great for doing customization work and modeling, uh, hobby work and so forth. They do come in quite handy, some of those little nail tools in there for doing your work here. Okay, let's try that again now. In fact, I'll put his hand on first, you'll make it slightly easier, I hope. Maybe it won't be easy to put the handle first, but let's just try again. Okay, that's on. Let's push in and see. And there we go. Hand is replaced, and he doesn't have one arm longer than the other. It's the same length, so Coolio Julio. Okay, let's just put my little drill bits away. Close that so I don't lose them. Fantastic. Okay, so how do these guys hold their weapons? In fact, if I was smart, I could have just... There we go. Keep that hand. Don't throw that away because it was the joint that broke instead. Put the hand back in the bag. Okay, so how do these guys hold their weapons? Now, they've all got the ability to hold weapons well, but it may not be the ability that's the issue if there is an issue. And maybe the fact that the weapons aren't easy to hold. Let me take our... Oh, black guy here. Let's take the rifle first. This won't be easy to hold because there's no handle. It's like this. There's no handle to hold. So you'd have to hold it maybe in a certain posture, which you may be fixed in. Let's have a look. A bit like the Germans, which, will, which I will compare them with in a minute. God, he won't get... I don't think he'll get a stock in his... Um, Yeah, he won't get the stock into his uh, arm, his shoulder, if he's holding onto the trigger. The stock's slightly too long, or he hasn't quite got that um, that articulation that he needs to do that. However, he can hold it beautifully, like this. Really, really nice. does look really good. Let's look at how the hat fits on him. Oh yeah, I like the look of that. He looks really, really nice. Let's take another guy, let's use one of the uh, other guns, since they should hold all the guns the same way. Let's take this little machine gun here. Again, the, for me, the stock might... Oh, no, he's holding something okay with the stock. But can he grab the other handle? Let's have a look. Oh, oh but the stock's coming out of the shoulder. Okay, there we go.
he looks pretty damn good as well. Okay, let's take, let me see, the machine gun, pistol, machine gun, pistol, yeah. We'll do the pistol separately because we've got to do the bazooka as well to see how they hold him. Well, this one should be the easiest one to hold up, well, the pistol should be the easiest one to hold in reality. So this one, this machine gun doesn't have a stock. But also his hands aren't gripping this one well. Let's try also, there's no sort of trigger guard, which really would make it slightly easier to maintain his grip in this. In fact, I'll give him the pistol on his other hand, make him a bit of a, a bad man. Or at least try to anyway. And again, he does look particularly good. Uh, this guy have the last machine gun, the last guy can have the bazooka. I imagine this will be one of the difficult ones to hold, but maybe I will be wrong. One thing I've noticed though with these World of Two sets is the finger guards or the trigger guards are slightly small, so awkward for them to put their fingers in and then get a good grip. It's not always the case, it takes a bit longer with the um with the posing, that's all. And then last one, he can have the uh, the bad boy bazooka. Let's see how he manages this. Uh, this might be a bit awkward. He does that actually quite well, has to be said. So here we have our World War II American Army soldiers. Had to replace the hand on one, as you saw, but that's not an issue. They do look particularly good. So let's see how they compare to uh, some of the German soldiers. I've just taken three German soldiers from one of these sets, since they're almost identical in the other sets anyway, just different colours, mainly speaking. So we have our officer here. Nein, we must kill the Allied troopers. And then this one, his gun just dropped out. <sighs> And this is my one where they only painted one boot. So you've got one boot painted, one boot not painted, but never mind. Um, they look really good together. This will make, you know, really good stuff for a great diet, particularly into your World War II stuff. Very, very nice. And if they're not historically accurate, you could do like, or one of my friends on Facebook, Damien did. And that is to paint your German soldiers to be more uh, accurate, World War II wise and also a bit of cutting and gluing you do the same with the Americans if they need to have to be altered to be more accurate in terms of their uniform look etc but I think this is a great set they look fantastic particularly with the German soldiers as well you know it's a lot of fun with this okay this is awesome as always I'm signing out saying please like share and subscribe check out my other videos because I've got a lot on my channel loads of content and a lot more coming soon please do have a look at those and stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.